Okay, I actually had to turn this on. So one day, Haley, one day I hope that you watch this and you understand like the same way that you feel about Dolly Parton. That's like the way that I feel about you, which is so funny. Because I've actually never <clears throat> listened to any Dolly Parton shit. But like, well, I heard that one song where she's always working nine to five. Anyway, so Haley's got this interview on Genius. Uh, so you guys are just going to see my reaction to it. Also, just to be in Nashville, which is like Kaylee's, like she grew up here, guys, and like we're here now. I just feel like she's eating at this restaurant and I'm here, so here we are. <laughs> anyway. So she's talking about how she saw an interview with Dolly Parton. I hate being late. That makes sense. I love her sweatshirt. She says, Okay, so first she said that Dolly Parton is her fairy godmother. If I had to pick a fairy godmother, it would actually be Sade, which is so funny because there was this like, she just never leaves her fucking farm. But anyway, so I guess she did leave the farm one day and Wanda Sky saw her or some shit. It was just the way that like Wanda was acting was so fucking funny. Also, Sade towers over everyone. She's like so tall. And then Haley's talking about how she goes to therapy, which makes so so much sense. <laughs> Tolly Parton in the woods. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so that's what the song is about. This song, Running Out of Time, is about... I really like her sweatshirt. Yeah, there isn't enough time in, in the day. That's true. Hmm. I walked the dog a little further than the driveway tonight. Uh. Oh, nice. I love bourbon too. Oh. It's nice that she talks to her neighbors. I had these neighbors like Cynthia and Jason who are probably watching this. I still don't like you and I think you're the worst neighbors I've ever had in life. Like it was such a dishonor to live near you. I'm so sorry. Like I hated them so much. I can't describe the amount of group chats that were like talking shit about Jason and Cynthia like, every day. Like Oh god, just every fucking day. I hated them so much. Oh, that's nice. She brought her old neighbor a bourbon glass or something and a That's true. Intentions do only get you so far. Oh, wow, that's good. What is that? Like a hammock? There are a lot of social injustices. That's true. Yes, exactly. Thinking about yourself in context is really important. Um, this is actually a quote, a Jeff Klune quote, which I will actually find that quote. But he was talking about um, there were all these conversations happening in the AI community um, where and how can I put, okay so basically he was trying to and he still is trying to like obviously make like artificial general intelligence like a thing so he's there was like a meta learning conference that was coming up so this is why you know I'd gotten I was like 
Jeff Clune is everything. Oh my God, Jeff Clune is everything. But then um, I can't remember. It was one of the shootings or something. One of the something that people were up in arms and they were marching about. And he and like nobody in the in the AI community was like saying anything about that because most of them are like white dudes, right? So then after this like period of silence from that particular community like everybody else in the world was talking about it but for some reason like they just weren't saying shit about it at all <laughs> like nothing so he posts though this one day he says um you know it's so funny a lot of us in the ai community we feel like we are ethical and we are above cultural norms but i guarantee that if we were around during times of like segregation and slavery we would not have been the abolitionists <laughs> and he so then he, he went on it was like a series of tweets where he explains why this is the case and he was basically making the point that like it is really hard to like stand up and do the thing that's like not popular and speak out and most people are not going to do that and I feel like that's what Haley is actually saying here because she's like, yeah, but you have to consider like yourself in relation to the time and the place and the like what's normal. So like there's some people who have like been out here kind of like doing like the work and everyone want, likes to refer to themselves as like an activist. And then someone even posted today on one of my other videos, they're like, everyone's race baiting right now. Race baiting is the current conversation. And I don't think that that's it at all. I think that for so many people right now they are living in integrated societies right like they've never had black people black co-workers they've never had black neighbors they've never talked to like a black female in the real world before all they've seen are these like caricatures of people on television right they saw like jamie fox in a wig or like dave Chappelle on a stand-up stage and like that's the only black person they've ever seen in real life ever and then there's always me or fucking Camille who like pops up somewhere and they're like, oh, that's what it's like. It's like, yes, bro, there are black people who are just fucking regular. <laughs> they, like, they don't know, though. Sometimes you got to see some shit for yourself and then you're like, oh, no, I get and everything. That's what I mean. I think television has literally destroyed lives, especially the lives of like poor white Americans, because like. They just have no idea what the real world is like. Like, they don't even know that, like, Africa's a continent and there's 54 countries and that most of the planet is black. Like, that, those are, like, takes, not, like, statistical facts. <laughs> like, it's, I can't even... Anyway, let's keep going. Hmm. Character is interesting, especially in relation to artists, right? Because if you guys remember, Nicki Minaj had that character. I can't remember the name of it, but it was like some... She would start to, to act out and be... I can't remember the name. If you guys are Nicki Minaj fans, you know what I'm talking about. But she has that thing where she puts on that character face, and then she'll go back to, to being whatever the like regular Nicki is. I don't really know what it is, but whatever it is. Um, and actually, Mara Ruby has a really good... Um, I think it's a cover of a song, Character, which was actually her favorite. To, to me, it was her favorite, or it's my favorite, Mara. She turned it into like a music video, I guess. Um, it's like, faces of trouble smiling. In the same way. You're back. Some, some, some. I can't remember all of it, but it was really cool. I liked it. Um, and... There was something else I had to say, and I kind of forgot. Um, yeah, let's keep watching. Oh, so there's the character as in, like, your values and how you display your values, which is, like, your character. But then there's kind of, like, a character, which people kind of try to be, like, an animated almost version of themselves, which is super weird, but they do, they do that. anxiety around time management is a thing there's a lot of heavy dark shit happening right life is not still it just keeps going
I know. <laughs> Liar. She's talking about how she's like making excuses why she's late. <sighs> That's true. You can make up some lies about a period and pretty much people will like let you off the hook. Intentions only get you so far. Oh, that's cool. She keeps her journal by her bed. And a to-do list. All of those things are useful. I actually just use the Google Assistant now to make to-do lists. You just tell it. You're like, hey, Google, make a list. And it will. It'll do it for you. Oompa Loompas. Love Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory so much. I don't get it. That doesn't make sense to me. I don't actually understand. Hmm, yeah. My watch is just for decoration, too. <laughs> That's heck of funny. I like old cheap watches, too. Facts. She said, I'm not going to invest my money on expensive watches. I understand. I agree. This is a child's wrist. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'll buy watches on Etsy that don't work. Pretty much, yeah. It's her. There's not enough hours in the day. And I can't remember who said this, but somebody said, like, this is actually a very, this is, the, the, I think the best lesson I ever learned about time is, it is like some gift, and you can find this if you search it, but so, when Beyonce put out Lemonade, y'all gotta remember, she literally had, like, just birthed a baby, and she gave us visuals for every single song, and a movie and we were all like how does this bitch have the time <laughs> it was just like it was a regular monday and then tuesday it was like drop we got a whole visual album we got music videos for every single song she had all the she had e by e or i don't even know the the girls from latin america they were all in the tree branch and we and no, she i don't know we it I don't know how she had the time to do all the things, but all the things were done <laughs> and nobody leaked anything. Like, no, it, there wasn't a leak. There wasn't a paparazzi who knew. I mean, the, they should hire this bitch for the CIA. Like, nobody knew. It was like Monday, nothing. Tuesday, lemonade. And we all have the same 24 hours <laughs> as her. That was the best lesson I've ever learned about time management. So Haley, pro tip, some kind of way, Beyonce manages to get it all done. I have no idea how, but it's just, 